Okay, here we go. This bird is very trusting because no one has ever attempted to try to catch it. And pyroloxias are wild birds. They shouldn't be, should never be caught and caged. They're beautiful in the wild. I thought it was important to make this educational video because, because of the other videos, people uh, here and there have asked how they could buy one and they have them in a cage, but I would hope that no one would ever try to cage a beautiful wild bird like this. Isn't that right? You like that? This is a good brand. Sunflower seeds, your favorite. What do you do with all those seeds? He's now um, giving them to his mate. She used to come up here and he would fly up right away and give, give her a mouthful. I'm assuming that she's on a nest right now because she doesn't come up here anymore. But he quickly leaves with uh, after he feeds thoroughly.
So normally, a uh, pyroloxias will never, you'll likely never to have one that will come up to your hand. But this bird grew up here and watched me feed the birds, so he was just very brave. From the start, so I just uh, keep feeding him. He's been here four summers. Four summers and the last two summers, this summer and last summer, he's had nests all summer. The female is not coming around today, nor much this summer. She's very distant, distant, especially afraid of uh, the camera. So it's mostly been pie. He's a good hunter. There are times, sometimes weeks at a time, he doesn't come by when there's plenty of insects. This is the first uh, fledglings that he's brought up this summer. He's usually kept them um, in the distance, uh, unlike last summer where he had all three nest fledglings and uh, juveniles grow up right here in the yard. And the female uh, last year would come up also, but uh, the last nest that he had, the female is the only one that he brought up. And she stayed with him all winter, and then he mated with her this, this last spring. And I don't know uh, if he, if he did, if he uh, mated with other ones, because the female has just not come up much, especially when I'm around. But this last nest he's got is two, there are two survivors. I know there are juveniles because I've seen him chase them off when they come up to the yard. And they come up very close, so, but as long as he's around, when they get older, he chases them off. It's a hot day, Pie. And you are beginning to molt. But normally, you are just absolutely gorgeous. Sometimes you're a little shy when you molt, but just right now you know your duty is to feed those babies. I got some food right here. Come on, get it. So the female is not here at all, and there are two young ones here. These guys are probably about 10 days old. I mean, 10 days out of the nest. And feeding the little ones.